Do you know the feeling when your dress fits perfectly in the front, but when you turn around it is way too low? So you adjust it in the back, and then when you turn back around, it is way too low in the front. If you do know that feeling, then this video is for you, because today I'm going to be showing you how you can shorten the straps on a top or a dress such as this one. Now the first thing that we are going to want to do is to figure out how much we want to shorten the straps. And for this I do recommend wearing the dress or the top and wringing out a little safety pin. And then here at the front you're just going to grab the strap and just try out different lengths and see how much you would like to remove from the strap. So perhaps it's just a centimetre or perhaps in my case I am going to be removing quite a lot more. And you can go ahead and do this on one side or both just to go ahead and see what length you want. Once you are happy with the length of the straps then it is time to move over to the table. And what I want you to do now is to bring out a measuring tape of some sort and just measure the amount of fabric that you want to remove from the straps. So in my case I want to remove a total of 18 centimeters, And I want you to keep this number in mind or write it down depending on what is easier for you. And once that is done we are going to go ahead and remove the straps from the back of the dress. And if you want to cut or you want a seam rip, that is entirely up to you. And in my case, I am going to be using a seam ripper just to remove the straps from the back of the dress. And the reason that we do this on the back and not the front is that in case some stitches do end up getting a little bit messy, then it's not the entire world because the front is a lot more visible, whereas the back is slightly more hidden. And before you detach the strap completely, it can also be a good idea to bring out a little safety pin and just mark on the dress where the strap is attached, because that will make it a lot easier to reattach it once we have shortened it. Once you have marked out where the straps were attached and the top of the straps are loose, it is time to go ahead and shorten the straps. And when you do this, I want you to take the number that you had in your head, in my case 18 centimeters, and then I want you to remove two centimeters. So in my case, going down to 16 centimeters, because when we reattach the strap at the back of the dress, we are going to need a little bit of seam allowance so that we have something to sew with. So make sure that you subtract those two centimeters. And when you are cutting fabric, it is always better to take away too little than too much because once your straps have gone too short, it will be a lot more difficult to uh, lengthen them compared to if you make them a bit too long and to go back and shorten them again. And of course you want to go ahead and do this on both sides. Now it is time to reattach our straps and I will be using my sewing machine but if you want to, you could do this by hand. That is entirely up to you what you find easiest. And to start off with, we are going to take our strap and then at the bottom of the strap, we are going to fold the strap in once and then fold it in once again. And by doing this, we are hiding the raw hem inside the fabric. And then just go ahead and use a needle to just hold that in place. And then using a straight stitch, I'm just ever so carefully going to stitch the fold in place so that when we attach it to the dress, it doesn't unfold. And of course, make sure that you do this on both of the straps. Once you have sewn and folded over the straps, it is time to pin them to the back of the dress and check one final time that your strap hasn't twisted so that it will lie flat. And then using the safety pin that you added earlier, then you can just lay your strap in place. And I would recommend keeping at least one centimeters overlap so that you have um, some strap left to attach onto the back of the dress. 
And I am going to pin this in place, but I just wanted to show you. We are going to add two different stitches here. I want to add one stitch going along the bottom here, and then one stitch going along the top here, because we do want to make sure that the strap is secured nice and properly so that it doesn't come loose when we are wearing the dress. If you have very thick straps or perhaps you have a bit of a heavier dress, you could also add sort of like a cross over as well so that you have four stitches holding the dress in place in total. In my case, this is just a very light summer dress, so two stitches will do. But if you are working with denim or corduroy, then I would recommend making sure that you have a stitch at the bottom, a stitch at the top, and also the cross. Once I have added the stitch along the top, I'm adding the stitch along the bottom. And as you can see, I'm sewing from the outside of the dress, because in my case, I want to follow the existing um, stitches that the dress already has. And there we go, one strap shortened and reattached. Now I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side and uh, then I will show you the final results. And also don't forget to take a pair of scissors and remove all of these extra threads. This is how my dress turned out and if you have found this video helpful then make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you altered and how it went. And if you want to see more videos about thrifting, styling second hand and vintage fashion, thrift clips, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below as well because I post videos about that every Friday and it would be super fun if you came and joined us. So I will see you all in my next video and until then, take care of each other and I'll see you soon. Bye!